So because I apparently love talking about teams two days in a row sometimes, let's talk about the 76ers again, this time Tobias Harris. So they gave Tobias a max, and they're hoping that he can be the third option for this team, right? Third leading scorer, dude who's making shots, he's in pick and rolls and isolations and high pressure situations and all that stuff, right? And I think there's more to it than that, but that's kind of the gist. Like, is he good enough for Philly to trust like that? Well, I think part of it depends on how much you can trust Embiid and Simmons, to be honest. I mean, for example, I know Embiid has said you can't give it to a low post center at the end of a game, playoff game, whatever. Are we sure about that? Like, I understand the reasoning, okay? You know, defenders are allowed to be physical. A post shot is the least efficient shot or one of the less efficient shots. And whatever else. But Embiid might be the one guy who can actually break that trend. He's that good of a post-up player. At least when he's not facing Al Horford. And of course, Horford is now on his team. So, maybe there's a chance they wouldn't need Tobias to do all that. Then maybe they would just need him to be like a 17-point guy and... You know, that'd be fine enough. There's also a chance Ben Simmons' offense keeps on keeping on. I touched on that yesterday. I don't want to dive into that really at all. Anyway, we get into the interesting stuff. So let's just say in a round two playoff series, Philly is facing, I guess for this upcoming season, it would be, I don't know, Miami. Okay, Spolstra, very good coach. Miami defensively, let's assume they're awesome. I think they're going to be awesome on defense. And let's say Bam at least has a chance of defending Embiid. Or if anything, Spolstra's defensive system of guys reaching in and then closing out and all that stuff does enough to where they can't just dump it down to Embiid in a tough fourth quarter, okay? And before I dive any deeper, like, yeah, I still think Philly would win this series. But when Tobias Harris gets the ball in that situation, being defended by Jimmy Butler or Justice Winslow or maybe Bam is switched on to him or whatever, is he going to be successful? Like, is he going to be like, give me the ball and I'm going to make a tough shot, whether it's a some sort of a step back shot or if you dare him to shoot in a pick and roll or if it's a pull up off of a pick and roll? My answer is honestly, I'm a little skeptical. I mean, I know he had the 20 point season with the Clippers and I know Tobias has gotten better every year. But that would be pretty wild if he just kept on improving up to that point. Now, do I think he'll be totally fine in playing off of Ben and Joel? Oh yeah, of course. And I think he fits in well with the big team who can switch across a lot of positions. And I think it's fair to say Tobias has gotten better defensively. But it comes down to shot making at the end of the day, man. And we saw how important Jimmy was with his, a lot of time it was like mid-range jumpers in the playoffs, really. Uh, When the team was just really looking for something. And also J.J. Redick's shot making was huge as well. I think another thing that's really important, and I guess it's maybe the one area of Tobias' game that he's never really gotten that much better, is the playmaking. Um, I don't want to say he has tunnel vision. I don't want to call him a ball hog. But he's just not that great of a passer. I mean, for the amount of dribbling he's done in his career, it's basically like two to three assists a game. So that just makes it a little tougher, in my eyes, to really buy into this idea that Tobias Harris just is the third option. Now, I'm not faulting Philly for giving him the contract. Well, maybe I am a little bit. But perhaps... There was an idea that somebody else could have given him that or or whatever. I don't know. It's it's the NBA today, right? Chris Middleton got a max. Otto Porter got what I think was a max. Harrison Barnes nearly got that. Jalen Brown wants that currently. It's the way it is. So, yeah, there's that. Um, now, I guess if Tobias becomes this amazing off-ball dude, that could be a thing. I mean... I'm going to credit pretty much just J.J. Redick for him being so good off ball for Philly. But Brett Brown at least had to drop a couple of those plays and like Embiid got some practice with running those handoffs with 
JJ and Ben just like had it wired into his brain to throw him the ball. So, I mean, could they run similar things with Tobias? I don't think you could do exactly what JJ did. Like Tobias isn't going to be as slippery around screens and he's just not going to have that like turning to the basket and firing right away or two dribbles and then taking what is like kind of like a fall away jump shot sometimes. But perhaps you could do more than nothing with Tobias there. And I think that'd be really, really good for this Philly team because my fear with their offense, and I'm saying all this while thinking they could make the finals, by the way. But my fear with their offense is sometimes it's going to be a little like, okay, what do we do right now? Which is kind of what happened last year and then Jimmy bailed him out. Not not that he was the entire reason for their success. I mean, the on-off numbers with Embiid against the Raptors were uh, wild, as we all know. But still, there were times when their offense was kind of like, what the hell do we do right now, as I just said. So if Tobias can just get it into his brain to really do stuff off the ball and not just stand there, and if Brett Brown can enforce that in him, that'd be good. That would also probably open up Al Horford's passing more. I mean, Horford is, I don't know where he ranks among the best passing bigs, but he's definitely up there. So I hope they wouldn't just be sticking him in the corner as well, and that you know that could help out Tobias quite a bit if Horford's really allowed to do his playmaking thing from the top of the key. So, yeah. I think where I end up is I'm skeptical on Tobias being able to be that number three guy. Assuming that it's just like, hey, Tobias, can you please bail us out right now the way it was with Jimmy? But if they can get a little more creative with Tobias and if um, whatever else, I have no idea, then it could go all right. 